how to install Android 10 GSI port from the Google Pixel on your Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Android 10 Pixel GSI on your Xiaomi Poco F1. The million dollar question, how is this method and this video different from the one I made earlier? Well, this build is much more polished and the biggest change is that google camera works on this build what is working and what is not working will be mentioned as a pinned comment on this video along with the link to the gcam which works what are the things which you need you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have twerp recovery installed i have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of this video Make sure you have backed up your data because if you run into any encryption issues or any boot loops, you will have to do a format data from to a recovery in which case you will lose all your pictures, videos and any other thing which is important to you on your device. So make sure you have backed up your data. Also make sure your battery is at 50 or 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Let us first go into settings and as you can see right now I'm running the latest global stable which is 10.3.7.0 MIUI 10. Then you need to go back into settings, scroll down, go into lock screen and password and remove your fingerprint, face data, screen lock. Once that is done go back, scroll down, go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done go back, go into sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all the security measures and accounts from your POCO F1, reboot your device once just to make sure that all of those things have been removed successfully. Next thing, all the files and the application which I'm using in this video which is Archiver, are linked in the description of this video. I suggest that you download all the files and then place them inside one folder. So we will open the application Archiver, go inside the folder where I have placed all the files so these are all the files which you need. You need GMS APK, you need Disable Force Encryption Zip and the next file which you need is a twerp backup of the partitions which you need to install Android 10 on your Xiaomi Poco F1. So all we need to do is click on this .7z file and then click on Extract to Archive Name. Once the .7z file has been extracted successfully you will have a folder with the same name and if we go inside this folder we have all the files which we need so we will go up one level and the next thing we need to do is move this folder to the twrp folder on your phone so you press and hold and then you say cut and once that is done you click on this up arrow it will take you to the root directory and you need to navigate to the twerp folder if you have twerp recovery installed on your POCO F1 then you will have a twerp folder so we will click on this twerp folder click on this green icon and there it is we have the folder was now successfully pasted into the twerp folder and now if we go inside this folder we have all the files which we need we'll click on upper level and you need to note down the name of this folder it is qp1a and the date as 2019 Next thing we need to do is boot our phone into Twerp Recovery. For that, first thing we'll do is we'll turn off our POCO F1 and once the device has turned off, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Once we are in Twerp Recovery, first thing we need to do is click on wipe, advanced wipe and then we'll select Alvic Cache System and data and then swipe to wipe. Once that is done we will click on the home button and now you need to click on restore and if you have multiple twerp backups you will have multiple folders over here. In my case I have only one twerp backup which is the one we just extracted. So we have only that folder and the name is QP1A 2019 Select this folder and then make sure all of these options are checked. So make sure that boot is checked, system image is checked and vendor image is checked. Once you've confirmed all these things, 
click on swipe to restore once the restore process is completed successfully click on the home button click on install and now navigate to the folder where you had placed all the files which we need so we'll go into the 10 folder and we need to flash the disable force encryption zip file so we will select this file and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done all you need to do is click on reboot system however if you run into any encryption issues or any boot loops then you will have to boot back into co-op recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till you see the co-op recovery boot logo then you will click on wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button this is where you will lose all your pictures and videos so make sure you backed up your data we will skip this step for now and click on reboot and then click on system and there it is peeps we have the google boot animation on our poco f1 which means our device is booting into android 10 and there it is peeps we have successfully booted into android 10 on our poco f1 however we have dpi issues no need to worry we'll fix that you swipe up go into settings and then you need to go into about phone once you're in about phone you need to tap on the bell number multiple times till you get a message that you are now a developer then you need to go back if you get a message about the system you are not responding you just need to be patient because this is the first boot and you might have some issues with the system ui lagging so we'll just click on wait for now once we go back we'll go into system and then we'll click on advanced and then go into developer options scroll down and look for the option which says smallest width we need to change this to say let's change it to 397 and then click on ok and there it is peeps we have successfully fixed the dpi next thing we need to do is we need to install the gms application so we'll go into files click on the three dot menu on the top right click on show internal storage click on the three bar menu on the top left go into poco f1 and now go to our folder and install the gms apk once gms apk has installed successfully we will click on done and the next thing i recommend you do is reboot your device once you have rebooted your device you need to go back go into settings and then you will go into apps and notification select default apps and make sure you set your caller id and spam app as the phone application we now go into settings and then click on about phone and then if we click on the android version you can see that we are running android 10 with security patch as september 5th 2019 and this is how you install android 10 gsi port on your xiaomi poco f1 that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you